Flying high, need to take a poo. Fighting crime, drop to where I flew. Definition man. So I've only recently had cable, only about a month or so, uh, Dish Network actually, and I'm a little disappointed about this wonderful quality programming my up and up sales rep offered. You ever seen this show called Burn Notice? Yeah, I know you have, and I'm the only person left on Earth who hasn't. Yeah, I get that. Rule number one when dealing with da 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 Of course, it also never hurts when the international criminal kingpin mastermind you are trying to deceive just so happens to be a gullible idiot. Sound familiar? da 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 she was about to have a rude awakening. Da 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 da. The grass isn't always greener. On the other side. In Miami? Y you're serious? I mean, yeah, sure, it's a beachside city, but outside of the spring break convoy, the reality of it is the whole place is just one giant museum to a simpler time. The way they got it set up, it'd be like finding both a marijuana farm and a meth lab in the bingo room of a senior citizen center. Speaking of senior citizens, what's with Gabrielle and War? I can understand when an actress starts a show as an attractive young woman and then slowly hags up, but what's her excuse? She's gotta be at least 50 when she started that thing. Okay, realistically, she's 42, but I mean every other scene she's got a 5 o'clock mustache. It's like she's a reject from Desperate Housewives and hooked up with Burn Notice on Rebound, which is and isn't saying a lot. I mean, come on, look at her. She looks like she's in the middle of saying, Jello Pudding Pua. So I say to the producers, rule number one when dealing with hot female characters. If during the interview her five-year plan is to go through menopause, ask if her daughter's auditioning. da 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 Of course, it would also help to show if you edit in a lap tractor and hired a writer from Full House. Hell, they could even hire one of the Olsen twins to, you know, replace that collagen-injected bag of sag they let run around in a bikini top. Although, granted, it wouldn't be that much of a step up. fanatic, I thought I'd enjoy the sci-fi channel, but I guess I'm a little too late to the punch for the good stuff, because what I saw after you take away all the B-movies is all you have left is an overly theatrical reflection of every outcast teenager's daydreams. The whole, I don't fit in because I'm special with werewolves and whatever phase are and vampires and whatnot. Frankly, I think there'd be none the wiser at this point if the network were just to get rid of all that crap and air the Twilight Saga indefinitely. And the show I've personally been looking forward to seeing ever since I first heard about it years ago, Ghost Hunters, which after only about five minutes I came to realize is just a bunch of grown men and women who's made it their life's work to overcome their fear of the dark. I'm sure if you were to hand each one of them a nightlight, the show would be canceled by nightfall. So I'm a little disappointed to conclude that this is just the Blair Witch Project as a reality series and nothing more. Don't! Oh my god, you guys catching that? You guys hear that? Shh! I heard a noise. I swear to God, I just heard a noise. Just, I just... Now don't get me wrong, I strongly support the notion that there is a genuine phenomenon embedded somewhere in ghost lore that warrants professional study. But any grown person fooled into believing that these paranormal recordings or anything other than age-old parlor tricks is probably somebody who slipped through the cracks of our public education system. And being someone who was tipped off repeatedly about how reputable and groundbreaking the show is, it really makes me wonder if Arizona's education system is truly number one of the country. In summation, the only positive thing I could really say about getting cable is that you can DVR movies. Which is like the equivalent of stacking 10 VCRs with a TV on top. In fact, outside of the high def factor, it's not even that good. This is probably the only place where analog kicks a digital ass every time. Because truth is, you're only renting that archive of Marvel movies or Property Brothers. And if for any reason you lose your cable, you lose your recordings. But with analog, you may not be able to see all the hairs up Hugh Jackman's nose. But the movie is yours now and forever. You have the power.
Who say you won't find it?